This is Mr. Martin. These are video notes for pre-calculus honors. This is uh, video 2 in section 7.3. We're talking about uh, partial fraction decomposition. And in this video, uh, we're going to talk about repeated linear factors. So a little bit more complicated than last time. So let's go ahead and um, let's factor the denominator over here. So uh, the first thing I see I can do is factor out an x. So I know this is going to be x times x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then I'll go ahead and uh, check and see if uh, this trinomial will factor. So this would be an x, and this would be an x, and that would be a 1, and that would be a 1, and these would both be minus. So this does in fact uh, factor. So we would have x times x minus 1 squared. We have a double root here at 1. So this is what we are going to want to use. So I have this linear factor that's going to be repeated. Um, so we're going to need a single one of these and we're also going to need one that's uh, squared as well. But keep in mind that this is a linear factor even though we're squaring it. So now what we're going to have here, we're going to need a different fraction for each uh, part here. So we're going to need um, a over x and we're also going to need a b over x minus 1 raised to the first. We don't really need to put that to the first but I'm uh, putting it there for emphasis for this example. And we're also going to need a c over x minus 1 to the second. If this was raised to the third, if it was a triple root, we would also add a d over x minus 1 to the third. So now we've got these three different fractions and we have to find a, b, and c. So same process as before. I'm going to go ahead and multiply through by x times x minus 1 squared. So then uh, for my fraction on the left, I'm simply left with 3x squared minus x plus 5. And next I'm left with a times x minus 1 squared. My second fraction, I'm left with bx times x minus 1. And finally, I'm left with cx. So again, uh, there are other techniques, and I'll show you uh, another technique soon. But for now, we can just pick convenient values for x. Let's start with uh, x is equal to 1, and that'll help us get c. So if x is equal to 1. I'm going to plug 1 in over here. So I'm going to get 3 times 1 minus 1 is 2 plus 5 is 7. So I get 7 is equal to 1 minus 1 is 0. So this term goes away. And another 1 minus 1. So this term is going to go away because anything times 0. And then I have c times 1, which is just c. So we get that c is equal to 7. All right, next, I'm going to use uh, x is equal to 0. So if I plug 0 in on the left, I get 5. And when I plug 0 into these two terms, um, I'm going to get 0 for both of those. When I plug 0 in here, I'm going to have negative 1 squared, which is 1. So this just gives us that a is equal to 5. So that worked out well. And um, since I don't have any other values that are going to cancel something out, so I'm just left with the middle term. Since I already have a and c, I really can pick any value I want. Um, you know, sometimes just a small value. Uh, I'm going to use x is equal to 2 in this case. Uh, so if I use x is equal to 2, on the left when I plug in 2, I'm going to get 15. And then on the right, when I plug in 2 over here, I'm going to have uh, 2 squared, uh, 2 minus 1 squared is 1 times 5, so that'll be 5. Plus, when I plug in 2 here, I'm going to have uh, 2 times 1, so that's going to be plus 2b. And then when I plug in 2 over here, I'm going to have... Um, 2 times c, which was 7, so that's plus 14. And then I just need to solve this for b. 
So uh, let's see, that's going to be 19. So I'll subtract 19 from both sides. And we'll get uh, negative 4, negative 4 divided by 2. So we should get that b is equal to negative 2. So now that I have these three values, I can go ahead and plug them in for a, b, and c. So for my decomposition, I would get 5 over x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 7 over x minus 1 squared as our final answer. All right, so um, that's what you uh, need to do, your process for repeated linear factors. Uh, I've got a problem here for you to try on your own. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and give this a try, when you uh, restart the video, the solution will be there for you so you can check. Uh, so go ahead and pause now and uh, try this one. All right, so here's our solution for uh, the second example using repeated linear factors. So I've got um, a linear factor of x plus 2 and a linear factor of x minus 1 that's squared. So when we decompose this, I need an x minus 1 to the first, and I need an x minus 1 to the second. So then we go ahead and multiply through by our uh, common denominator, and we end up with this equation. Again, using convenient values for x here, uh, the obvious choices uh, to start with are 1 and negative 2. And then uh, we can use 0 here. That uh, makes things a little bit more uh, simple, simple uh, to figure out what b is. So hopefully you got negative, or a 1 for c, 3 for a, and negative 2 for b. And then you just go ahead and substitute those back into your original uh, decomposition uh, to get your final answer. Uh, so if you um, didn't get something right in here and you can't figure out where your mistake is, make sure that you uh, ask me or us, uh, one of your classmates, and uh, we will see you in the next video where we will talk about irreducible quadratic factors. Uh, see you in the next video.